Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today, we are doing something that involves making abstract art. Abstract art is art that doesn't really try to look like anything in the world. You know, you're not using your observation skills. You're using more what's happening in here and the things that you are doing involve a lot of lines and shapes and patterns and color, but you're really not trying to copy anything out in the world. So today we're going to give that a try and we're going to explore negative space. Negative space doesn't, it's not bad, first of all. I know negative usually means bad, but in this case, negative space means space that does not have any uh, drawing in it. For example, a piece of paper that the artist intentionally left some areas white. Let me show you an example. Example in this paper, I decided to leave some of this space around my color mixing experiments white to let the um, let the color mixing experiments, the circles, have some space so that you could have a really good look at each color combination on their own. So negative space is the color of the paper that has no marks on it. And we're gonna do a negative space challenge. And for that, we're gonna need a pencil, a piece of paper, our hand, manual in Spanish, and your choice of drawing tool. Today I got some markers. Let's get started. Step one is to plop your hand down on a paper and trace it. You want to use your hand that you do not write your name with and your writing hand to draw and trace your hand. And I'm using a pencil. If you use a marker, you might get marker schmutz on your hand and then you'll have to go wash your hand. So I recommend using a pencil or a crayon. And we're going to trace. It's okay if it's not perfect or a little lumpy and bumpy. That's what erasers are for. And I'm bumping into my hand. It's a little ticklish. Okay, so here's my pencil line shaped like my hand. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to leave the hand part as the negative space. We're going to leave the, this hand white and color it all around it. And for this, you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, or whatever you want. You can even create a pattern, a stripe, or color going down your paper. Let's get started. So I think I'm gonna experiment with layering my crayons. So that'll be kind of fun and interesting. I'm gonna add a pattern too. But you can color in like this or you can just color in the whole space. You can even use a small piece of paper if that's what you got. Okay friends, I have a quick tip for you here. And that is, as you're noticing, it might it takes a bit of challenge and thought to color around these fingers. So you can take your crayon and cover over the fingers, the line, the pencil line, and it'll help you be more detailed. Or at least it's helping me. And this works for pretty much anything you're coloring in, especially with crayons. This crayon I'm using, it's a jumbo crayon too, so it colors a really wide line. And tracing over with a crayon is really helping, tracing these lines is really helping me make nice, neat coloring spaces because it's a little darker, easier to see, and... I think that the motion of coloring is more back and forth, whereas 
covering a line with a crayon is a little more about dragging that line across the paper, right? Ta-da! Here is my negative space drawing. And you can see the hand part is white. And I decided to do rainbow stripes in the background and I layered my crayons to make, I layered primary color crayons to make secondary <laughs> colors. I labeled my primary, er, I layered my primary crayons to make secondary colors, just for fun. Because, you know, if you only have three crayons, you can still make any color in the rainbow. So, I would love to see you give this a try. See what you can do with negative space when you actually use the white of the paper to activate and, you know, help the other colors shine through because I think the white makes this green look even greener and this orange look even more bright and fiery. Bye! Have fun making art with negative space!